Hi everyone and welcome. So today we're studying the effect of the Martingale approach when combined with a winning trading strategy. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video on the Martingale method and other videos on this channel describing the strategy we're going to use here, using support and resistance levels along with candles patterns, I will put few links in the description of this video so you might be interested in watching these first to understand better our approach in this video. Also, the Python code I'm using to backtest the strategy is available for download from the link in the description. For those who just joined us, the Martingale method consists on doubling our position size every time we close a losing trade. This way, we are hoping that at some point, one big win will make up for all the previous losses. And in the previous video, we detailed the explanation of this method and we applied it to a completely random strategy that chooses equally whether the trade is going to be a buying or a selling position. Now I'm not going to detail the results in here, they were backtested and shown in the previous video. However, the difference in this video is that we are applying the Martingale on a winning trading strategy. Our strategy will identify support and resistance levels and if we have any particular candles patterns very close to any support or resistance price, then we will consider that a trend reversal might be happening and we execute our trade accordingly. The stop loss and the take profit values will be chosen according to a ratio that we will call the take profit stop loss ratio. So this is in brief a recap for newcomers and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like supporting this channel. Of course, if you have any ideas in mind, you might as well share these with us dropping a comment down below. Now this strategy was already tested in previous videos and we have seen that it provides positive returns and the idea here is to try to increase the profit adding the martingale approach to this particular strategy. Okay, let's see how it all worked out in Python and make our conclusions. Also, I will try to keep this video short so I will not detail parts of the code that were already seen in previous videos. So first of all, we have loaded and cleaned our data so I'm using the euro US dollar daily data from 2003 up to 2021 for this video and I'm checking if my data frame is loaded properly so I'm printing the tail of the data frame then we have the support and resistance functions that we are going to use to detect the uh, support and resistance levels in our program Again, if you want a detailed explanation of these functions, they were detailed in previous videos. I'm going to put some links in the description of this video so you can go back and uh, check the code if you are interested in the coding part. Then we have other functions that are called is engulfing, is star and close to resistance, close to support levels. So we're going to use these functions to detect particular candles patterns and we're going to use the other two functions to detect if these patterns are close to a resistance or close to a support level. And this is where we are generating our signal. If it's a buying or a selling signal, it happens in this cell, particular cell. So if we have an engulfing pattern in a particular row, a bearish engulfing pattern that is equal to one, so it means we are looking for a selling price. Or if we have a different candlestick pattern also showing a selling signal and these signals happening close to a resistance level, in this case we are going to conclude that we have a selling signal and our signal will be equal to one. Else, in the opposite case, if we have a bullish engulfing pattern or a bullish rejection pattern, close to a support level, above a certain support level. So we are concluding that we have a buying signal and our signal value will be equal to two. In all the other cases, our signal is equal to zero, which means that we don't have a signal. We're not going to buy nor sell at this particular row. So we execute these functions, we generate our signal and we store the signal in the data frame. So now we have one additional column that looks like this. And this is our data frame. We have zero for no particular signal, one for a selling signal, and we have a signal equal to when we have a buying signal. And at this point, I can include the backtesting.pi package in order to backtest the strategy. So we have to define a function called signal that's going to return the signal values for each row in our data frame. And this is what I'm going to use inside of my candle strategy class that I have included here. So it's a custom class that inherits from the strategy class from the backtesting.py uh, 
model and the initial size of our position trading position is going to be something below one so it's 0 0.05 it means that it's five percent of the equity that we are holding for the moment so we are so we are trading every time with five percent of what we have in our account and this part here is where we are going to decide what is the size of our uh, trading position so if we have a buying signal or a selling signal so anyway we have a signal that is positive in this case and at the same time the length of the currently open trade is equal to zero so we don't have any open trade which means that we are going to open a trade because we have a signal and there are no open trades and at the same time we have the length of the closed trades is positive which means that we have already passed previous trades and closed some of these trades in which case we are going to test if the last trade was a loss or a win so is the self dot closed trades element minus one meaning the last element of these closed trades dot pl dot profit loss which is the variable holding the profit or the loss amount in this particular trade if it's negative it means we had a losing trade and this is where we are going to use the martingale approach so if we had the last trade was a losing trade we are going to multiply the size of the coming trade by two so we are going to multiply the size of our position by two before executing this current position otherwise if we had a winning trade this is where we have closed trades minus one the last element the last trade that was closed dot pl is positive we are resetting the size of our trading positions to the initial size which is five percent of our equity here if the signal is equal to two we have a buying position so we are setting the stop loss and the take profits with reference to the last closing price of the last candle and we will pass a buying position taking into account the size of the lot same thing at this point here we are going to uh, check if we have a sell position a sell signal in which case we are passing a selling position also taking into account the stop loss and the take profit values as well as the size of the position with the martingale approach so at this stage i'm going to put a comment for these lines here so we're not going to use the uh, the martingale approach at first we're going to execute the positions as they are and we're going to test what it would give in this case just to make sure that we have a positive return from this strategy so we're starting with ten thousand dollars as starting account value no commissions are taken into account we just need to test the strategy and then we can add the commissions later on we're going to run this we can check the return percentage which is five percent the buy and hold return percentage is 5.12 percent so it's almost similar to our strategy remember that in this case we have a high winning rate so which means that our signal is very well is working good so we have 63 percent of winning trade the best trade is around 4.25% and the worst trade is minus 4.13%. So this is not a bad strategy. It works well. The signaling is well because we have a relatively high winning rate. However, our returns were not perfect in this case because we're not using a high position value. And this is the equity uh, picture showing the increasing equity over the time. These are the... Um, trades so we have winning trades we have losing trades and so on nothing in particular so the first thing i'm going to try to do to increase our income is to increase this percentage what if we traded with half of what we have so 0 0.5 which means 50 percent every time so obviously we're going to increase our return percentage so it's 61 percent now because we are putting more on the table we are trading with more money however the risk is going to be higher in this case we can even trade with 99 percent we're not using any leverage here we're not using any margin leveraging so we can trade with all our money there is no big risk using this this way and we can increase our return to 115 percent over the whole data in our data frame okay so this takes into account a certain take profit and stop loss uh, values distances so we don't forget these parameters either and a certain amount of percentage that we are putting on the table for each trade 
Now, if we want to use the uh, martingale approach, this sum here, we can't keep it at 99%. We can't put all our money into a trade. And then if it's a losing trade, put the double of it because the double is out of the range of our account. So in this case, if we are intending to use the martingale, we have to decrease this amount, let's say uh, to 5% again. And we are back to around 5% of returns over the data included in our data frame. Now I will put back the martingale approach. It will be activated. I will execute the cell and we're going to compare the results. So now we have 9.49% with this strategy. So remember, the only thing I changed is that I activated the martingale part. And this immediately pumped our returns from 5% up to 9.49%. Now I'm going to plot these in order to see visually what's happening. Now it must be seen on the equity part because we have an increase, a slight slope, a positive slope that is increasing. But then when we have these drawdowns here, so we have losing streaks, then we have one big position that is going to make up for all the losing trades at some point. So this is what saves some of the situations where we have two or three losing trades in a row. And then suddenly one big trade will come and win back all what we have lost in those last two or three trades. And this is showing better results overall, as we can see on the equity. So we almost doubled our returns from five up to 9.5%. Uh, now it might be also interesting to uh, change the values of the take profits and the stop loss and see if this will be increasing our returns overall. So it doesn't in this case. So we have something we are dropping back to 4.8% just to make sure that we are aware of these. These are also important parameters that are part of the strategy. I would even say it's a big part of our strategy, depending how you put your stop loss and where you put your take profit values. So I'm going to keep them 450 pips for now. And um, I'm going to put a link in the description of the video so you can download uh, this code and experiment on it on your own. Okay, so it all looks very nice and very good. So this martingale thing is doubling our returns for this particular strategy. However, it's not all very good. If we can experiment, for example, and increase the percentage of our trading part, let's say 10%. So if every trade I'm trading with 10% of the money, in this case, we can see that we have an error in, um, in our program. And the reason is that at some point we have a big drawdown and 10% seems to be um, wiping out our account. Why? Because if you have uh, traded with 10% at some point and you have lost, then we have doubled the um, amount of the position. So we are trading with around 20% of our uh, account. Then also we lost another time. If we double this, we're already trading with 40% of our account on top of the previously lost part from our account. So as you can see, if you have a streak of four or five, uh, let's say uh, losing trades, we're going to wipe our account and we don't have enough money to pass such a trade. If at some point the program is trying to pass a trade with 60% of uh, our account, then it's not possible because we have lost so much money in the previous trades and it's going to wipe the account very quickly. So the Martingale approach comes with its own risks. It's just displayed here for educational purposes. I'm not encouraging you to use it. You have to study your um, strategy. You have to study your money management if you are intending to use such um, approach. And this is the reason I'm showing you here the way it wiped this particular account of $10,000 just by trading in 10% initial size and using the martingale. Okay, so that's all I had to tell you for this particular video. I hope you guys liked it and found the information helpful. If so, please leave a like, a comment, or maybe subscribe just to show some support for this channel. Thank you very much for staying that long. Until our next video, trade safe and see you next time.